Hey, what's up everybody? Hope your day is going fabulous. <laughs> um, today we're talking about knives and some particular knives and the knife laws today that are terrible. And they're either terrible or just not even necessary or just ridiculous. <laughs> um, so right here are three knives. Right here you got your typical folder. Um, it's not a lockback, it's, I forget what they're called, but it has a little thing right here. Uh, this is my Gerber, I don't even know what model or anything this is, just camouflage, camouflage skeletonized handle. I've had this thing for forever, it even has some, I think, chips in the blade, if you can make that out. But yeah, you got your kind of typical everyday carry, then you got your assisted. I just did a review on this. Uh, this is the K Kershaw uh, Trace. And then you got your Bally Songs. So, one of the biggest issues I have is that anybody, most people anyway, uh, where the laws are really strict about knives. When they see one of these, they think, oh my gosh, let's ban it. That thing can flip open. Let's ban it, because it's dangerous. Let me ask you something. Is this any more lethal than this? Not really. In my opinion, not really. Is it any more lethal than this? You still move it around, do some fancy stuff with it. You can do that with any knife. Um, so, like, any time there's a uh, new knife that, oh, you push a button, it comes out. Is that really more lethal than this? Not really. The, really, the functionality of it has really nothing to do with how lethal it is. Well, I mean, it does in a way. But on your typical knives, even like your spring assisted or your Italian stilettos or whatever, the functionality of it really doesn't make a difference in how lethal it is. If you got a sharp blade, it doesn't even have to be very sharp. If you got a sharp blade, it's at least two, three inches, and you got a bit of a point in there, that's going to be lethal if you were to get hit with it. It don't matter what... What, how the blade is protruding, it could be your traditional folder or even your old uh, buck lockback. If that thing's out and you're going to be thrusting with that, that's going to do some damage regardless of the functionality. Um, I mean, yeah, I can see, oh, sorry, that, that, I can see some people be like, why they would ban ballet songs in certain places uh, I think even in the UK I think a lot of places uh, they're banned I believe correct me if I'm wrong but this is ridiculous um, now I can see about carrying a fixed blade one there's really no lawful use for everyday carry for a fixed blade <coughs> excuse me um, now, say hunting season rolls around, then yeah, carry a fixed blade for hunting. If you hit something, and then you gotta gut it and everything. Um, but, these are not any lethal more than each other. The business end is the blade. <clears throat> See, I got a tanto right here. So as a point, has a nice blade. If you were to thrust with that, no matter how the handles function, no matter how you, the blade comes out, that it can still be lethal no matter what. It doesn't. Heck, it doesn't even have to be a weapon, a knife to be lethal. You can take a, this screwdriver, find it, sand it down, or grind it down uh, to a point. And you can carry that, and there's no law against that. You can do it, reverse grip, any fancy little move, fluent move you want to do. That don't matter. 
it's still gonna hurt if you were to hit someone with it. So, the point of this video is just to talk about how ridiculous the laws, knife laws particularly, are in a lot of places. Now, I got lucky being in Pennsylvania that they're not <laughs> too strict. You can actually legally carry a ballet song, which kind of really surprised me. Now, in any state, I believe, you can uh, own any knife. It's just, you know, you got your carry limits. So. <sighs> yeah. That's just kind of my thought and my view on knife laws. Um, maybe another time I'll get into gun laws and everything about that. Who knows what the future brings. Uh, but that's just kind of my thought on knives in general and the knife laws that are just so ridiculous um so yeah thanks for watching please like comment and subscribe hit that notification bell so you get notified every time i upload and like me or follow me on instagram uh at reptiles and knives 101 thank you for watching